There is no bigger game in Spanish football, and they're certainly the two most successful teams with such passionate fans. Stay with us. We'll bring you all the action live from Catalonia as Barcelona face Real Madrid. Well, you only need to look at the history books to see how close this fixture historically has been. Barcelona at home against Real Madrid on this occasion. I'm Derek Ray. Sitting alongside me here on the gantry is Stuart Robson. And Stuart, this ought to be special. Well, Derek, this is a magnificent setting for a great rivalry. Let's just hope we see both teams play at their very best today. What an occasion this should be. Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc Andre Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Federico Valverde plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And the match begins. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Pedri. And he read it well defensively. Benzema. Camavinga. The pass not finding its target. Nacho Fernandez. Back to Lewandowski. A chance to whip it in. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. He's gone short with it. That's a nice looking ball. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. You can't really discuss impact players without discussing Robert Lewandowski. Well, he's one of those players you want the ball to go to. He's such an exciting player. And most importantly, he's very effective, as his goal scoring record tells us. Modric. Kunde now with De Jong Jules Kunde on the ball and that's an important intervention Valverde good physical play well sadly they just couldn't keep possession Valverde Vinicius Jr. must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming.
Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Barcelona get things going again. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Vinicius Jr. Mendy. Nicely timed tackle. Well, slightly off target. And that'll be a throw-in. Lewandowski and now the visionary Lewandowski great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save a corner for Barcelona behind as they are who's going to get on the end of it and the problem not completely solved Christensen De Jong and with that the attack fizzles out Federico Valverde Rudiger and unable to keep possession making progress Jordi Alba and a chance to whip it in here. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. David Alaba is with Vinicius Junior. And well, he's given it away. So nearly at half time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Corner for Barcelona. Going for the short one. Tremendous block from Modric. Decided to come in from the flank. De Jong. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Pedri Lewandowski Pedri Lewandowski now Oh, breezing past him And after the cross, a tremendous block The high press was on and that's a fantastic tackle Goalkeeper in charge of the situation And there's the delivery. It might still be problematic. De Jong. Lewandowski. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. Well, he has plenty of battle scars and he knows how to lead a line, Karim Benzema. It's going pretty well for him. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate.
Second half underway with Real looking to build upon a positive first half showing. It's a fine piece of attacking play from Lewandowski. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal scoring opportunity? And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good eyesight, but no doubt about that. He's got the goal-scoring opportunity there. He had to go. I had my eyes tested last week, I'll have you know. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it petered out. Jordi Alba has a go. And a goal here. The keeper unable to prevent it. Barcelona on level. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. And strong play here. Karim Benzema. Tony Kors. Mendy. Modric! And a goal! Down to 10, but don't write them off just yet. 1 0. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and that's the perfect strike from Modric. He hits it with such power and accuracy. That's a brilliant goal. So the ball rolling again. Can Barca bite back here? De Jong. They do pass the ball with authority. De Jong. Given away by Barcelona. Mendy. They could pick out a teammate. Benzema! Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. And the substitution will occur now. So the corner played into the box. Well clattered away. Look at Modric. Magnificent from Mark Andre Ter Stegen. Sergio Busquets. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. And nicely parried away. Well, Real pushing to add to the lead. It's a corner. Substitution for Real Madrid. It's a short corner. Karim Benzema in the thick of things. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Well, as you can see, Barcelona have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Chouameni. Well, they couldn't keep possession.
Torres. Well, the noise these Barca fans are making is incredible. The players just need to respond with a goal now. Modric. Here's Valverde. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, offside by the merest of margins. And time for the change now. Chouameni Valverde Carvajal no Possibilities inside the box And a goal! They've increased their lead And they don't want to be throwing it away from here Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And possession lost, intercepted. Modric. Mendy has it. Well, moving close to full time, and Barcelona have left themselves with a big mountain to climb in this one, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents, but in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Giving the ball away. Aurelien Chouameni. Well, he's given us away. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Federico Valverde. Carvajal. Valverde. Here's Carvajal. And so the referee's whistle for full time. Barcelona have lost. I wonder what you made of this. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. And the shining light for his side, Karim Benzema. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.